what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel so um, I know I haven't been putting much of any videos out and that's because my semester is coming to a close I have a lot of schoolwork that I'm backed up on and really there's not any interesting changes to the tank um, nothing really positive at least so um, the one positive note is I did check my nitrates earlier this week and I did bump up my nopox and so far um, I got my nitrates down from 100 parts per million down to about 25 parts per million in addition um, I am running GFO in a reactor and I, um, I was able to get my phosphates down to about 0.12 last time I checked however I am uh, waiting on some phosphate E from Brightwell and that's going to get me an ability to dial in um, a phosphate level for this tank so I'll have no large swings and I'm really looking forward to that so my nitrates and my phosphate should be completely dialed in in the near future so that stuff should be here this week and we should get some good results from that now in order to do that I went ahead and set up another dosing pump so that I'm running two JBAL DP4s and that is going to handle the bulk of the nitrate issues I also went ahead and added some more macroalgae there are various types in here um, as well I added some more bacteria I added some more I added some copepods and some mysis shrimp and stuff like that so I'm curious to see just how everything works out now I know the tank looks really clean in terms of the glass right now that's because I cleaned it yesterday believe me it was filthy so now let's take a look at the hair algae so as you can see here we got this massive algae but on a good note this algae is actually dying off um, most of the algae on this rock is almost gone um, and it's everything's kind of turning white and that's good that means my night my algae is dying off I'm maintaining low uh, levels of nutrients and that's always a good thing now I know probably wondering what are these two massive gorgonians sitting in the front of the tank and those are for another tank however I really do like them so my plan is to just frag them off leave the two frags in here that will make it uh, three types of uh, photosynthetic gorgonians I have one non photosynthetic gorgonian laying around back there somewhere so um, about my coral so Actually, my coral have just not been doing really well. Nothing consistent. I lost my bird of paradise. I lost Aganipora, my Montipora. Um, I just lost a lot of coral. Some uh, Euphilia. Lost a lot of stuff. However, my more prized stuff are still kind of going strong so far. And I am happy for that. So essentially what... Um, is new for the tank well I did purchase back there a it's a Sinularia of some kind um, it's green with purple polyps um, and I just picked up another one just got delivered this morning another bright green uh, neon Sinularia from Skies Lagoon now I'm not sure if those guys are gonna stay in this tank permanently but as for now um, they're just gonna ride it out a little bit and I keep, I'm gonna keep an eye on them if I notice anything not going the way it should they I have a couple of other tanks I can move them to anemones are still alive I'm surprised honestly they've stayed strong through all of the swings as you can see there is an obvious dimorphism between the skunk clowns now you can see the tiny male to the left and to the right is the huge female as for my other clowns um, the way it's looking is <laughs> this beautiful clown right here um, is becoming the more dominant one and I suspect she will become the female um, 
and he's actually starting to shrink. Um, at first, they were about the same size, and they and he would stay in one corner, and she would stay in another. But it seems like they might get to a point where they will pair up in the near future. So fingers crossed. As for fish, um, I reduced majority of my fish. I believe I removed about seven fish from this system um, and I moved them to another system. So currently I just have my two clowns, my long nose hawk, my diamond goby, my two skunk clowns, my pacific angel, my uh, six line wrasse, uh, and I believe that's it. So um, I, lo I removed a lot of fish. I removed all my fish that were in the sump. The only thing that's down there currently is a pair of peppermint shrimp as well as a chocolate chip starfish. So, um, still got my fire shrimp, still got my peppermint shrimp, still got this uh, rainbow torch. And everything's doing decent. Um, the coral that are doing well are doing well. And the stuff that weren't doing well have already perished. So, I really don't have much to say in that respect. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what has been going on with the tank. So now down here you can see I, I did have the skimmer off for a couple of days. I did just throw it back on. However, the next thing moving forward is to remove this barrier down here and upgrade to a bigger skimmer. But for now, um, it's just going to work until I can get my hands on a bigger skimmer. Um, I need something the right height. So, um, I'm looking around, I'm scouring the web to see if I can get something used. I don't want anything new. Definitely go and use. This is my budget 40 gallon tank um, for the most part. And uh, I would like to kind of keep it that way. Now, in addition to that, I raised the Radeon way up there. And I would say it's probably a solid two feet up. Um, and the reason for that is I just wasn't getting the coverage that I needed. And... I already know that the Radeon is powerful enough to maintain um, good par levels even all the way up. As you can see, none of my corals seem to mind too much. I mean, some of my zoas are stretched out a bit, um, but that's really it. And the Montiporas on this rock are still growing really well, um, including um, my uh, Forest Fire Digi, Bubblegum Digi, or uh, Orange Digi. All my digis are doing really well. Um, even one of my, uh, I believe it's a stag back there is doing really well. So no real issues. My model hammer back there, which that guy right back there is doing really well. It's grown a lot since I purchased it from Aquarium Care Center for around, I believe it was $10. So really good buy. Um, what's new? Uh, nothing really new. I did change my feeding regimen on this system. Um, these fish get fed every other day, um, every two days at most. And uh, they alternate between flakes and uh, frozen mysis shrimp. So that's really it, guys. This is what's going on with the tank. I'm really actually losing a lot of faith in this tank. It's just not what I imagined it to be. Um, I've contemplated just shutting it down. I've contemplated uh, just getting out of the hobby. But, you know, since I already have everything in place, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set everything. I'm going to leave the tank alone. I'm going to let it do its thing. And we'll just see if I can redeem myself as a reefer or not. Um, if I can't, then I apologize. I guess this was just not the hobby for me. However... If I succeed, uh, you guys will hear about it. Uh, as far as equipment, still running my DCT-8000, zero issues. Uh, Phoenix heater, I just pulled it out. Cleaned the titanium heater, no issues. Wave makers, my uh, DP4 and DP8, no issues there. Um, my GFO reactor, zero issues. And as far as all my equipment, I have had no issues with equipment. Now, I am running low on Nopox, and I have a replacement order coming in. And I am running, starting to run low on my Aquaforest dosing stuff. Um, but I might just keep the containers and switch 
to BRS. So let me know what you guys think, BRS, or should I continue with my Aquaforest, and we'll see how everything progresses. That's it for the 40 gallon tank, guys. Oh, look, that's a rare sight right there. Um, that is my little uh, horseshoe crab, you can see right there. This is a rare sight. I've had it for a couple of months now and it's still doing really well. So again, guys, if you like what you see here, please leave your comments. I really appreciate them. Let me know what you guys think. Should I stay? Should I get out? Should I start over? What do you guys think? Um, that's all I got for you guys. So I apologize for not putting videos out very often, but I am so busy, guys, so busy. I have to really run up, edit this video, and get back to homework. Um, I have two weeks left of school for the semester. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Alex. This is Budget Aquatics. You guys have a good one.